times, and I'll say George, we're not looking at accumulations, but at times we could even see rain and snow fluctuating, going back and forth, even in St. George. So we're talking another big storm system moving in that's going to linger for days. It's going to get cut off from the jet stream and just spin, keeping the weather just very active across much of the western half of the country, affecting Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Nevada, uh, just every all of our neighboring areas too. Uh, so pay close attention if you're going to be traveling for the holiday. Uh, right now we're still dealing with storm number one. The cold front has come through. We're starting to see some of that lake effect take effect and bringing in more snow off the Great Salt Lake. So we're starting to see it get a little reinvigorated across Salt Lake. Portions of Davis counties too and out towards Tooele Valley as well. Darker blue is still showing some of the heavier snow coming down. So from Layton down through Salt Lake down to southern uh, Salt Lake County still seeing the snow. It does tend to get a little bit heavier on, on the west side and also starting to pick up a little bit on the east side too uh, affecting 215 uh, out towards uh, some of our highways in western Salt Lake County I 80 involved there and then you can see more snow trying to develop and head down towards the Tooele area where we've already had quite a bit of snow uh, come down in that location Utah County Orem and Provo are starting to see a little more snow picking up there as well and then Beaver to Cedar City still seeing some ongoing action Bryce Canyon still getting the snow and even out towards Zion National Park we're seeing some snowy uh, snow showers coming down there hurricane I know has been getting the rain and the wind it does turn back into rain once you get out of the higher elevations in Washington County. So northern Utah, we're going to keep snow showers going through at least 7 p.m. Most of our northern Utah areas will see the snow wind down, just mainly cloudy skies, except for that lingering lake effect. We may be able to pick up another one to two inches as we head towards tomorrow morning uh, from the lake effect. So that'll be very isolated in nature. And then in southern Utah, we'll gradually clear things out here, too, with temperatures in the 30s. Uh, central portions of the state, uh, south central Utah, could see some leftover snow through the overnight hours. So you'll see that with future cast 7 p.m. mainly in the mountains a chance for some leftover snow across portions of I-15 maybe a little lake effect happening in Salt Lake County as we continue through the rest of the night snow continues to wind down uh, mainly just some leftover snow in our mountains we may pick up another three to five inches of snow in our mountains by the time we hit tomorrow morning this is at 8 a.m. slight chance for some lake